Ai wa, Alex Campbell di Wayo. Lach the lamps, di wa wasku. Chen di wa jo. Lach skik di pteo. Ha salsu da wap, su lamask. Lach chen. Jelly hees, wa well. Dist chani, su, su alauksha. Lach chen. Well, in Kelam. Smilers at Hanistapna in Amo in Nachnur, at Amoks, near each other. Smoggy get hon, the one chums yen, Kispoch Lots, Lachski. My name is Alex Campbell. I work here at School District 52. I've been there since 1996. And trying to bring the language, our language, Somal, Chimshen Somal, back to our young people. Our language is important for us to hang on because we have a lot of stories, a Tao to tell. And if we don't know the language, we cannot tell our a Tao at all because our a Tao goes with the landmarks in our land. Why do we have landmarks? Tell us a story of who we are. For instance, to bring one out right now is the one at Tai, where the Kispachlos tribe chief painted on that bluff at Tai, and it's been there for thousands of years. It's still there, and the story is still there. It's still the same. So we try our best to carry that on and move it on to the new generation that's taking on the language and learning. And we do have some in the high school and other schools, as a matter of fact, that are really learning and speaking the language, writing the language, and at times they could put some stories together on their own, in the high school that is. So things are moving along and we do have a number of students that are able to speak our language, write our language, and even to pass it on to the next generation. And this is what's really happening right now in our classroom. We have two or three in the high school that finishes their work in a very short time. And then the teacher will tell them to go and help the others. And they do mingle around and help everybody else out because they do, you know, really understand and hear the language. And uh, it is really, to me, it is really promising now of what's happening over the, the last couple of decades, and we could see it starting to flourish. I could see the grass getting green. Pretty soon the flowers will be there. When the flowers come, that's fluency. Okay? Fluency and knowing our stories, our histories, our cultures, and our, our crest. It's the main thing that everybody knows who they are now. Because we used to always, I used to always bring it out to them and say, you're not just passing through this land. You are who you are, First Nations. And we keep it that way, who we are. And here, when we talk about the house front, and uh, years ago, when they tried to put that up, uh, I had to intervene and help them get that house front up at the middle school. We had to explain why our hands are not like this, our hands are like this. And that tells people that's coming in. We are now multicultural pretty much here in Prince Rupert, in the classrooms and everywhere else. That we welcome them, come together, work together, let's learn together. That was my aim. To the classrooms and it still is today. One day we will all lock arms and move forward.